Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode here on The Learning Droid. And another episode here on our Making Wirepoint Tips series for the Beginner's Guide. So guys, in this series we're going to be looking at a interesting kind of tip called a coil tip. Sorry about that, I dropped something. The coil tip is one of these guys. As you can see, it's a nice little coil of wire. And it's used for really heavy shading, guys. I do not use it much, but some people like them. So what do you need for this, guys? Well, really put really simply, all you need for a basic one is a ruler with some wire, wire snips to cut the wire, two pairs of pliers, and then you need a form, guys. Now, depending on what you want to do with your coil tip, you can use all sorts of different things as forms. You can use the... Um, shaft of a thick, small screwdriver, you can use pretty much anything you want. But I'm a perfectionist, guys, and I want a 3mm coil. So, this is uh, 23 gauge wire, which means it's 0.6mm, which means that two widths of it will be 1.2mm. This is a 1.8mm needle, which means that wrapped around here with one width either side, we're going to have exactly a 3mm coil. <laughs> so that's why I've got these guys. So, how are you going to make it? Well, put simply guys, 10 centimeters of wire. Always have more wire than you need guys. 10 centimeters is a lot for this project, but the reason I have so much guys is it just makes it far easier to work this. And so what we're going to do guys is we're going to put the wire on the needle and hold it with our thumb, like that. From there guys, it's literally just a case of keeping the wire pinned and wrapping one, two, three, four times. There we go guys. And that is the start of our coil point. Now as you can see, it's wrapped around the needle and it looks a little bit rough and nasty. But, simple way to deal with that guys. First things first, we want to compress the coil this way. So we just keep everything nice and tight and squeeze the coil. Good. And then we come to the other side, flip it over 180, keep everything nice and tight, squeeze the coil. Now guys, what you're going to find when you do this is you're going to find that the middle bits of your coil here are fine, but the outer bits start to stretch out slightly and the outer rings of your coil become too big for what you want them for so you end up with a skewed coil here's how you're going to fix that guys you're going to take hold of your coil with one pair of pliers nice and tight you're going to take hold of the wire with the other pair of pliers and you're going to just twist and pull yeah then you're going to twist and pull on the other side and then straighten the tines back out again with your fingers. And what you do there, guys, is you pull the outer bits of the coil together. So you actually tighten them up. I need to do one more of those on this side. I'm going to hold it with my fingers this time. Just work the wire. And there we go, guys. There is our coil. Now, as you can see guys, it's slightly open, it looks a little bit like a spring, but that's easy to fix. All we're going to do to fix that guys, take a pair of pliers when it's off the needle, hold it at the base of the pair of pliers, like that, and compress it nice and hard. Nice constant pressure guys, squeeze it down, And there we go guys, we have our nice tight coil bit. I just need to tweak this outer one on this side guys, so I'm going to put the pliers in. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tweak because it's still a bit far out. There we go. All done. So that's our coil point guys. And the last bit we have to do is shape the tines. Just like with the um, patterning bits guys, you're going to shape tines one at a time. And the reason for that is guys, is it's just easier and makes for a 
better shaping if we shape the tines one at a time. It's just a case of working the wire into the shape you want it to be. With pliers or with fingers, So you see guys, I've gone for a slightly offset one, so that the coil at the end is slightly off from everything else. And there we go guys, this bit of excess wire here. All we do, take a pair of wire snips, hold it. Hold the wire that we're snipping off, not the large bit of wire, because the one we're snipping off is the most dangerous one. And there we go guys. That is a finished coil point. If it's still not tight enough for you guys you can still compress it again or if you want to make it really tight anvil like object hammer and then tweak the tines outwards again because that will ruin the tines but there you go guys that's a really tight coil point ready for work and these guys are some of the least useful points in my personal opinion. This is another coil point I made guys, which is this one I made previously actually has neater tines and a slightly tighter coil. That's just because I spent more time doing it guys. And this is the thing guys, the more time you spend doing these things, the easier they get. So thanks for watching guys, and I will see you again next time.